So in this video, I will give you some tips so that you can spawn like thousands of trees in your scene without having any kind of issues. So in this scene, uh, I have around 40 to 50,000 trees. And in this one, I have around 50 to 60,000. And they all are geometry. They are not kind of a uh, cards or any kind of images. They are all geometry. Okay, so first they will try something. I'm using this mega scan pack. Uh, you can just go to the epic marketplace and you can download this tree models i'll just try to use the foliage tool uh, right now i'm just using this static mesh foliage uh, tree this one ft black elder field 05 pp and i'll just reduce some density of this thing uh, maybe this much let's try with smaller amount and i will also turn on my fps so that we can see fps so right now i'm getting around 80 fps you can see there 60 to 70 around in high settings so let's try to spawn some of these trees and i think the density looks good okay so, and i will try to spawn around 3k and if i go even higher than this so this is around um, 14k trees and if i just go and enable nanite I don't know where is the nanite option okay i think the nanite is enabled by default so the nanite was enabled right now and with nanite enable i'm getting around uh, in close-up shots i'm getting 9 fps so this is kind of very bad and we are just spawning 14,000, and we are getting so much lower fps i will just try to spawn around 30,000, and then we can stop so there we go i think this is around thirty thousand. yep i think yeah so in distance we are getting around 60 fps but when i go closer to this thing it will just ah uh, we are getting 10 fps so this is very very heavy so the first thing you can do to get your fps back is you have to turn off your wind so just go to your static mesh something like this i will just go further away so that we can get some more fps there okay so in this one uh you have to just click on your tree and you can see we have wind enable and this is the most uh, performance taking thing your unreal engine is calculating your trees position it will definitely reduce your fps so we have to turn off this thing so you can just go to the material just click on the first one and then go to detail and you have to just search for wind you can see there we have few wind options you have to just disable everything and then you can just save this then go back um, where is my folder yeah this one just double click on your second material and then select everything and disable your wind and then save then we have to go to the third one just select everything and then disable all options and i think the last one is this one imposter i don't think so we have a wind option in this okay we don't have any kind of wind so yeah we, you can leave this thing if i save everything and if i go back if i go closer to this one we are getting kind of um 12 13 fps but now you can see i can easily move my camera and you can see the we are getting so much better performance just by disabling our wind and most of the time you will not gonna spawn trees like in this manner definitely there will be some kind of gap between these trees and it will also help to get more fps but right now i just spawn this thing like randomly and they are just kind of overlapping with each other and in unreal if something is overlapping like your trees or your uh spatially trees or any kind of foliage then it will drastically reduce our performance so yeah you have to make sure that you're not spawning anything on top of each other uh, it will just uh, reduce your fps so right now i'm using the worst case scenario but in your case you will not gonna spawn your trees like this so you will not gonna get that much low fps so that's the first thing you have to do you have to turn off your wind option the second tip is you have to reduce your polygon count uh, so right now if i go to my static mesh this thing and if i go to this one you can see uh, in this area if i just move my camera up you can see there we have a nanite triangle and this is 1,3977 triangles and this is quite a bit for a single tree 
we have around 1 lakh triangles. So what we have to do is we have to reduce the size of this. The left one is the low poly version and the right one is the high poly. Just go to your modeling section and if you're not getting this option just go to your edit plugin and then type model you will get this option model tools editor mode you have to just enable this and restart your unreal engine so after this you have to go to mesh option and you will get an option of simplify you have to just click on this and you can see we are having some kind of red markers uh, i will just go to um, oem i think we can leave this thing to this one we have percentage option if you reduce this thing to 16 or 25 it means it will reduce the poly count of this thing to 20% something like that so you can just leave this thing to 30% and then you can just accept so right now you can see the trees are almost looking similar right now we are not having that much difference but if I go to this one uh, you can see the poly count is 31,000 so we are reducing it from 1 lakh to 30,000 uh, I think we can even go lower than this so just go to the simplest again simplify again and then you can just reduce to uh, i think around 60 or uh, 50 percent let's try this and you can see right now we are not getting that much difference yeah definitely in close-ups uh we will have some kind of issues but from this distance also they are almost looking same and now we have 17,000 triangle i think we can go even lower than this i will just reduce to i think and now you can see that the leaves are kind of disappearing <laughs> so you don't want this type of thing so make sure that you are not going too lower on this number just make it 50 and let's try with this and right now you can see some sort of visual difference uh, you can see that the leaves are kind of very lower in the left tree compared to the right one but the difference is very minimal you can't tell that much and you will see this type of issues also uh, the geometry issue but if the camera is further away from your tree then it will kind of same you can't uh, tell any difference so let's try and see the poly count of this and right now this is 8000 so we are reducing our poly count from 1 lakh to 8000 and they look almost same um, from distance but if we go closer then definitely it will not create some issues but yeah from distance like this much you will see that they almost look same so that's the advantage the tip number three is um, you can instead of using meshes you can use cards uh, like you you just need an image and you can paste that image on a plane and then you can just randomly spawn those things in the background and it will also look good so yeah i think that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching